This presentation covers how to use Play-Doh to support uh, learning instruction in the classroom. So what you want to do first is go to this website here and once you type it in you'll get this screen. I would always make sure that when I get to this particular screen that I read the announcements in case Play-Doh is trying to run any updates on the time during which you want to get your work done. Uh, if there's nothing that's going to get in your way, then you can go ahead and put in your information. Now, your information will be provided to you by your teacher. You're looking to get three things. You want to make sure that you have your account login number. You want to have your Play-Doh name and you also want to have your password. All of these will be provided by your teacher. Once you type this information in, go ahead and click the login button. Once you log in, this is an example of a particular screen that you should see. Um, the graphics may be different uh, just depending on grade level, but the content is going to be the same. You should see your name. You'll see communication, you know, whether you sent a message and you're getting a response back or your teacher's just trying to get general information out to you. You will also see three things here at the top, your lessons, messages, and any discussions. To the bottom right, you have the list of your assignments and you want to pay close attention to your due dates. And then over here to the far right, you have the more button. In the event that you have more than lessons than what you see on the screen, and you know that you have these extra lessons maybe from other content areas, then you want to go ahead and hit the more button so that you can get everything. Whenever you're ready to log out, you just hit the log out button. Whenever you're ready to go back home, you can always hit home. And whenever you need help for whatever reason, always hit this button here. Once you hit the assignments that are due, or that have due dates rather, then you're going to want to look at the information that you have here. On this particular screen, uh, your teacher may provide instructions that you need to read. Then you're going to have all your lessons, any applications, and any practice assessments. Alongside each of those items, you'll have three other columns, activities where you've been exempt as determined by the teacher, the activities you have mastered, when you've mastered, and your status if it's complete, incomplete, etc. And then if you look over on the right where you have the link icon legend, I highly recommend that you go ahead and click this link when you're not sure what the different symbols indicate on your screen. And I think that this is really helpful because it'll at least tell you where you are with your learning and give you some control over what you want to do with some of the information that you collect. So anything that's been mastered or not mastered will be reflected with stars. Um, if you're exempt from something, it also will have a star beside it. Uh, in order to determine your progress, you can see if it's clear, like the ones over here, it means you haven't started. Halfway means that you've probably done a number of the lessons, but you still have not taken the mastery test. So in order for you to get a completed circle, you need to make sure that you complete the mastery test at the end of every module. You also have some control over the type of reports you can look at and printing capabilities. So you have HTML reports and you have PDF reports. I would always encourage that if you want to keep documentation, that you open up the PDF report and then you save it to your computer. Okay, so when you click the lessons button at the top of your screen, here again, we see those icons that I spoke of earlier. Uh, we also see the due date and the teacher that assigned the assignments. So again, you have the control to uh, look at your data on a PDF file 
or on HTML file for any of your assignments. You also are reminded of the due date and then you can also see your status. In this case, I have not attempted any of these particular lessons and the deadline has passed. Uh oh. Let me just make a suggestion to you. Once you know that your teacher has made Play-Doh modules available for you, you want to go and check those due dates, and then you want to go ahead and plan your time accordingly once you see the number of lessons you need to complete and the, time of, uh, and the amount of time that you need to have them completed so that you can make sure that you get through the work and, unlike me, meet completion status before the deadline. Here's your messages screen. Uh, you have the power to send new messages and delete messages. You can always check your inbox to see if any of your messages have a response. Once you click the new message option, it will um, require certain information uh, in, in, in the correct teacher that you're trying to get a hold of. And then you can go ahead and hit the submit button. Once your teacher sees that alert, they will get back in contact to, to you through the same um, window. Again, another suggestion, if you see that you need some support, don't wait till the last minute to send your messages. And also keep in mind that your teacher has a school email address, so you don't have to limit yourself to sending the messages through here. This is just one easy way to get communication to your instructor but again you also have their email address and you can also email them through that avenue as well okay so what happens when you need help I recommend that if you need something answered and your teachers not available uh, the next best thing to do is to go to the support page and you just need to type in this particular web address you may or may not need to be logged in but I probably would go ahead and log in just to be on the safe side um, and I'm sure that if you don't log in and you go to this website they'll ask for your account information so once you're in I would probably just get myself familiar with the with the program I would probably start off with the getting started section and in that section, you'll find the user guides, um, other resources, other tutorials, and a few more items. So we're going to look at um, the user guides. Okay, so when we get to that user guide screen, we have a number of options. Again, I just want to hone in on per some particular items. Again, you'll see Here's an address up here. Again, you want to make sure you log in if it's required in order to access these um, tools. We have the Play-Doh user guide. We have a general user guide. And then the big one here that I want to focus in on is the login help. This is where you need to go if you are having issues with logging in. And then if you go back to the main screen, you'll also see just to the left of the account login, Play-Doh name, Play-Doh password, the word help, and you just click that link and it should get you again to the right place to get the right information just in the nick of time. If you still have questions on how to use Play-Doh, please don't hesitate to ask your teacher because they are there to help you. And again, you wanna get through your lessons in the right amount of time, so you don't wanna wait to the last minute to share your questions with your teachers so that you can get the right support that you need. And this is pretty much a quick overview on how to use Play-Doh.